Hi everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot. And this is going to be a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising of Venus, energies in and around my Taurus Collective for the month of December. Keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. This reading could resonate at any point in time throughout the month of December. This reading may or may not be for you, so only take what resonates, leave behind the rest. Energies can be interchanged, swapped around. I could be speaking directly to you, Taurus, or I could be speaking directly to a cross watcher. So do keep that in mind. If you have not already, do feel free to hit that subscribe button below to join the channel. And let's jump right in and see what kind of a message needs to come through for you, Taurus, for the month of December. What energies need to come through for Taurus, please? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus disconnecting uh i think maybe you're in need of a reprieve uh, a vacation it's kind of time for you to take some much needed alone time as part of some rejuvenation and healing energies because i think you are a powerful light worker taurus and you are here to achieve many capable things to really shine your healing light on humanity and sometimes as light beings, as light workers, we can get so drained energetically and we do need that reprieve, that time alone, to disconnect and recharge our energies. Pay attention to your dreams, Taurus. I do think you are encouraged to keep a dream journal throughout the month of December because there are a lot of messages coming through from spirit that, that you're likely going to have to decipher that's being conveyed to you. I think you are encouraged to release something, release control. If you've been manifesting something, Taurus, I think the time is now to release control to allow the universe to kind of do its job. I know Taurus does like to have a plan mapped out, is grounded, solid, and stable, but release that need to control this situation. Allow things to kind of happen organically, Taurus. You are encouraged to cut some energetic cords, maybe releasing any unhealthy memories of the past, releasing past pain, releasing unwanted attachments, any unhealthy energies, any unhealthy habits in order to um, embrace this next leg of your journey. I feel renewal coming through in December. And you might want to retreat. Retreat from your busy life, Taurus. Um, spend some time in nature. Connect with Mother Gaia. Connect with some animals. Allow the energy of Mother Earth in its raw and beautiful form to recharge you as you release something, I feel, that's been a long time coming. So let's see what needs to come through with the Psychic Tarot for you, Taurus. What else does Taurus need to be aware of stemming around these energies in December? Throat chakra. <laughs> I think maybe there's a need to speak some truth. I do think you're closing out a major karmic cycle, learning a powerful lesson as everything kind of comes full circle. And without a doubt, go within, trust your intuition. Truth is in highlight. Truth is being illuminated, um, a final judgment call being made. This could be stemming around a reconciliation. Maybe somebody you're connected with is needing to speak some truth or cut some unhealthy attachments because um, there's destined transformation on tap for you, Taurus, especially as we kind of shift into that Taurus North Noon. So it is about what really matters to you, Taurus? What do you value? What is going to bring you emotional, financial, and spiritual security? Because there's destined change on the horizon. This complete and total profound transformation. This is faded destined change. I feel a lot of integration when it comes to some past energy. All of these facets of self, who you are at the soul level. And there is a need um, to transform your life. Speak some truth. So let's see what else needs to come through for you, Taurus, with the wisdom of the Oracle deck. What else does Taurus need to be aware of stemming around these energies for the month of December? All that glitters. I think masks are coming off. Um, there's this tower energy of releasing anything fake, anything superficial in your life, and really taking some action with passion. Where are you being guided to go? What are you being guided to speak into existence? Because somebody's been the observer, I feel, really needing to take a step back, 
Somebody here is in a foundation and it does not feel like home. I feel somebody's feeling very isolated in the energies as some truth comes forward when it comes to these negative attachments, these unhealthy memories, these unhealthy energies, because it is about stepping into service. It is about chopping wood, carrying water, doing your part to clean up this collective mess that we're kind of in. And I do feel... It's this fork in the road energy. You're being presented with a crossroads. Do you want to keep going back over the past or are you ready to kind of release control, clear your energies and step into this healing light for humanity? Because I feel this um, recognition coming through. Recognition and reward. And you're really going to need to be poised in the energies as you clear all of this toxicity and disconnect from any outside sources. I do feel this is stemming around purpose. This is without a doubt stemming around a loyal committed partnership. There is a loyal heart. Maybe there's a masculine connected to you about ready to come forward to take some action. And maybe there's deep knowing. And there is a need to release any round and round complexities in your life in order to embrace this transformation and this renewal energy that's trying to come forward to us. So let's see what else needs to come through with the crystal healing oracle deck, uh, crystal medicine oracle deck, pardon me. What else does Taurus need to be aware of um, when it comes to this message? soul awakening. So there is without a doubt a transformative soul awakening. And I think you're about to tap into seeing the beauty and the sacredness in all of life. Because I do feel you're stepping into unconditional love and going through a purging and a cleansing process in order for you to step into your own healing light, to step into your purpose as a light being, as a light worker. And I do feel you're likely a healer of some sort, um, stepping into shamanism. So dreams definitely are going to be in focus um, when it comes to perhaps um, astral travel, um, stepping into the shamanic journey of, of sacred medicine as you embrace this soul awakening. And this could be somebody you're connected with. So let's see what else needs to come through with the love oracle cards today girl talk spend some time with some trusted friends i think yeah maybe you're single maybe this is somebody you're connected with i think it's really time to just have fun to move on to leave the past behind to let go and to really live in the moment because maybe there's going to be a separation of some sort maybe you are in separation from a soulmate i do feel somebody is missing you taurus i do feel somebody's been thinking about you and yearning for you and they're really unsure about coming forward unsure about the future and i think you do have a snake in the mix i think be leery um somebody here wants to compete with you taurus you do have an enemy disguised as a friend that is about to bring forward a lot of malicious intent so i think you definitely need to look over your shoulder taurus there is another woman here i think trying to create some drama in your life so let's see what needs to come through for you with the tarot what else needs to come through just stay in the present moment there is a fork in the road and i think there is a lot of uncertainty stemming around the future so Pay attention to what spirit is conveying to you because I think it's time to really do the hard work, the eight of pentacles. This is about putting in the time when it comes to working together within a community, within the spiritual community. Chop wood, carry water is that community energy coming through and there's resistance. Somebody here is holding on to something. There's a lot of pentacles here. So finances are in focus. Um death reversed there's resistance to this transformation could be dealing with a scorpio that would be your natural seventh house of partnerships <coughs> throat chakra could be dealing with a water sign <coughs> There's dishonesty here, Taurus, and my throat is very blocked. So there is a lack of truth here. There is a need to speak some truth. The Queen of Cups is emotionally unstable. I do feel emotionally blackmails to get her way. I feel get ready for an emotional outburst. 
could be dealing with a Scorpio. I think there is a need for healing. I do feel somebody here is stuck in a situation where there's no more growth. It's stagnant. It's time to plant those seeds somewhere else. There's secrets here. There's lies. And I do think something is about to be revealed in the energies, Taurus. And, and this is about a heart opening. I feel a new beginning in love. Maybe somebody's about to extend a lighthearted offer, an apology. I'm not sure. I think you need to be leery because I do feel um, emotional manipulation in the energy. We have a true soul soulmate pair on the board, but they're not in alignment. I do feel a masculine energy here in an unrequited love situation. And secrets are about to get revealed. There is a Queen of Cups here operating out of some very shadowy energy. There are secrets here within a foundation where it feels like there's harmony. It feels like there's love. But there's secrets here. Um, there's a lot of darkness surrounding a connection between soulmates here. And somebody's gripping to control. This is very interesting, Taurus. Yeah, the devil reverse. It's time to break these chains of codependency. I do feel a falseness here. Somebody feels tied down in a situation. There's no more love here. This, this feminine has no more love to give. I think an apology is in, is in order. I kind of feel a masculine here that's been resistant to this transformation, has been really focused on his work, knowing that it's really time to move in a new direction to embrace this Ace of Pentacles new beginning. It is about community. There's been a withholding within a connection, and there is a need to break free from this toxicity. There is about to be a dated, a, a dated, a faded turn of events because somebody here is in some deep, dark depression, and I feel is feeling very hopeless. There is a masculine here, I feel, needing to break the chains of addiction to really embrace a new beginning of love because there's no healing within this connection. There is no love in these cards. Maybe you're going to um, receive a message from a child. Um, so that's a possibility, but we are going to see what this death reversed and queen of cups reversed is. Three of Cups, I think there's third-party energy here. There's a need to get really honest. Wow, we got a lot of queens on the board here. Stemming around a committed partnership, a foundation that somebody here is without a doubt needing to break free from. This is set in an old mindset, an old paradigm, a toxic pattern. And somebody here is at the crossroads. We do get the Three of Cups with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. And the Eight of Cups reverse. So... Um, Somebody knows it's time to walk away. There could be more than two women here within a situation. The King of Cups sometimes can be very emotionally detached, withholding. And I feel there's a feminine here taking her cup of love away. I feel she can feel other feminine energy around a situation. There's resistance to walking away, I think, because somebody here is not emotionally stable. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. Pisces, Capricorn. What is this King of Cups about? Two of Wands, the Magician Reverse, Two of Cups. So there's manipulation within the soulmate connection for us. Bottom line, um, somebody here is feeling all tied up, trapped in a soulmate connection. I do feel there's been abuse of power. There's been manipulation. Somebody is at the crossroads without a doubt. This magician, I feel, is manifesting a new beginning, is doing it in secrecy, is doing it in hiding. There is about to be a lot of drama, a lot of chaos, a lot of conflict, and quite possibly even total financial ruin um, as these secrets come to light. Virgo, Gemini energy. What is this high priestess reverse? Hanged man reverse, seven of wands reverse, nine of wands. So I do feel, yeah, get ready for a fight. There's a need to learn a lesson. Somebody here is not learning a lesson. Maybe somebody here is really needing to shift their perception. This is about honoring a Jesus consciousness, I feel. Really going into these past embedded wounds and releasing them, releasing control, releasing these unwanted attachments, releasing these unhealthy energies, this toxicity, learning a lesson in its entirety. I think um, there's going to be a fight. I don't think there's going to be any winners here. And I think somebody's about to bolt out the door in a new direction very, very fast. Especially with that yang energy. What is this Capricorn or this devil reverse? 
the lovers. There is without a doubt about to be an unexpected choice in love. Somebody here is about to get left out in the cold, whether this is you or somebody you're connected with, leaving somebody out in the cold to make an unexpected choice in love to come towards you with an apology. I do think there's been a lot of planning. There's been a lot of plotting behind the scenes when it comes to making this decision when it comes to breaking somebody's heart. And I do think this is gonna hurt. Maybe this Queen of Cups is going to have an emotional breakdown when this masculine walks away from a long-standing soulmate con connection. I do think this is gonna hurt and I think somebody here is getting ready to move. They don't wanna fight anymore. They're tired of the fighting, they're tired of the manipulation, the gaslighting, the belittling. And I do feel it's time to close out a major cycle. Is kind of what I feel. Um, everything coming full circle. Everything is alchemizing. And there is a need to speak some truth. Truth is in focus. Um, could be dealing with a fixed sign, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. But I feel it's time to release this, stuck, this stuckness. Maybe you're needing to disconnect as a masculine goes through this transformation, preparing to come forward to see you, Taurus. Because there is a choice in love here. It is decision time. It's time to make that final judgment call. Because somebody here is without a doubt at a fork in the road needing to make a choice. So let's see what else needs to come through for you, Taurus, with the crystal stone deck. What other messages need to come through for Taurus? Act on your dreams. Act on your dreams. Go where loyalty and reciprocity exist. You have a deep knowing. It's time to break this pattern of round and round. It's time to go. So I think it's time to quit sleeping on yourself. I think it's time to retreat to go into meditation and to really make that vision board of what a happy family life is going to be for you because I think you've been staring up at the ceiling. Somebody here has been worrying about the future, staying up all night, and this stress really has become an enemy, which is in turn manifesting in an enemy within your outer reality. So I do think somebody here needs to look over their shoulder. I do think um, somebody here is at that final deadline when it comes to extinguishing a toxic connection redirecting their energy and reminding themselves that it's time to put stress in, in, in its place. I do feel a major perspective is being shifted. It's really time to release this perpetual restlessness, this indecision. I think somebody here is feeling that they're, they're feeling um, drowned out in a connection. And I think um, somebody here needs a reminder that anxiety feeds more anxiety. And I feel it's time to align. There's an alignment here taking place in the energies as somebody really calls on their, their core powers. I think feeling all of these feelings, I do think it's going to be a very painful ending as somebody kind of goes with their heart, making a head over heart decision. I do feel somebody needs to get moving. There is a relationship here that is coming to an end that has been shrouded in a lot of dark energy, a lot of dark matter and maybe there are kids involved and I feel it's kind of time to call back your power to step into this new energy to claim back your space Taurus I think you've been seeking guidance and you're really needing to connect with your higher self in order to get to the hardcore truth of the matter because triggers are sure to be on the menu in December as somebody clears their physical space of all of these unwanted attachments, these energetic cords, and releases this tension. And I think somebody's about to peace out here. So slow down. I think a breakthrough is at hand, Taurus, and it's really time for you to restore your motivation. I do think tempers are likely to flare as somebody breaks free from this soul-sucking energy. It really is time to release any anger that is held between you and stepping into unconditional love. I do feel freedom in the energy. This is a moment of freedom, and it really is time for you to knock down whatever has been standing in the way of you and your happy place, you and feeling at home in this energy. So that's kind of what I got for you, Taurus, for the month of December. I do hope this resonated. If it did and you would like to book a personal reading, please feel free to check out the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.